Hello and a very warm welcome to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for clicking on this particular video. My name is Jackie and I have been on a weight loss journey to lose as much weight as I possibly can to feel comfortable in my own skin. And to date, that has been nearly 11 stone. I'm trying at this moment in time to cut down on a little bit of carb, a little bit of intimate fasting, watching my sugar intake, although I'm not always great at it. I also travel around the country with my fantastic partner, Rich. Richard, who was so supportive and we enjoy life in between and hopefully we can capture some of those special moments together and we would love you to be on this journey with us as well as we grow old together should we just get into the video yeah why not so here we go after our trip to Guernsey Mm. Holy mackerel. Holy. <laughs> so today is Monday. I have just had a weigh in and discovered that I have put on another seven pounds. That is ten and a half pounds in two weeks. It's really not good at all. In fact, incredibly unhealthy. And what I am trying to learn from it is that you're just a greedy cow. I really need to plan <laughs> it is Monday and I am going to try my hardest to rein it in what I've got in the fridge at the moment which is gammon uh, misshapes so I've got a hundred grams of gammon I am gently dry frying it off I'm gonna add some mushrooms and then three eggs on top to make myself an omelette no cheese did she say no cheese no cheese and I'm gonna have a bit of a side salad on the side and let that last for the day I'm gonna make sure I count my calories I think I have 1500 calories um, I'll double check that and put that up here and I'm going to keep within my calories I've really got to and just watch this space anything can happen here is my omelette it has come to 724 and I have a little bit of salad, there we go. but I didn't know what. Give me a second, I'll put them in the bars. Thank you so much to Maureen Craven for sending these beautiful flowers. You watched my video and you felt a little bit sad. I don't want you to feel sad because, you know, we all go through these sort of things and, you know, ups and downs and, you know, it's just how we get out of them really, isn't it? And, um, you know, hopefully the part two would have made you smile and uh, I'm thinking about you as well. So thank you so much. So very kind. Love you, love. On it with vengeance I hear you say well, I'm trying anyway <laughs> okay so today we are having a chicken dish I've taken the bones off this is hopefully gonna do three possibly four meals I'm now going to gently fry that and add some mushrooms then add the chicken get it nice and cooked then I'm going to put it in that dish there and add that sauce. Now that sauce is a whole jar of roasted red peppers. And I've zhuzhed it in the um, zhuzha. What do you call that? The zhuzha. You know what I mean? Mixer. Food mixer? Blender. Blender. 
Hey, <laughs> and I put a little bit of Philly Philadelphia cheese in it because it required um, lots of cream. And because Richard is uh, Richard is trying to lose weight as well, we're doing it together. So I thought I better look after him as well. So I did it with uh, Philadelphia cheese instead of cream because cream's got so many more calories. And although it's healthy for me because I'm cutting down on carbs, don't start running on Jack. I think everyone knows what you're talking about. Yes, yeah, eggs. And I should be doing some vegetables. We got an array of vegetables here. We'll put some tomatoes here a little bit later and then dish it all up. I shall probably be eating around about half past 11. <laughs> Look at that, a lovely salad, avocado, salami, ham, oh, I just can't get enough of my salads, I've fallen in love all over again, mm. better go and eat it before it gets cold, oh yeah, it's already cold. <laughs> I am home early today, yes, I'm home early, how about that, let's put you in a bit of light, if you're watching on TV I bet you can see all my lines and, and things, so just keep it away, keep it away, that's it. just get further away from the TV to make it look small, that's, that's better, that's better, the further the better, alright, I look younger when I'm further away, you do understand that don't you, hmm, so, I'm home early and although I had a huge lunch, it was bloody gorgeous. And I'm getting back into my salads again, I must say, oh my gosh. But when I come home, my belly was rumbling and I thought, you know, I'm because I'm still editing, I had so many problems with my editing. I think I told you before, if I didn't, I'm telling you now, I had so many problems with my editing, I really did. <sighs> I had to take a breath and go, oh, please help me, please help me. But, as it happens, I finish work early, so I'm just getting a pizza because you understand when I eat, I concentrate more. Whether I do or not, I don't know, but it just feels better that I have something to eat while I'm editing. So, I have got myself a Lodo pizza. It's just got roasted vegetables on, a little bit of cheese, about 50 grams of cheese, cheddar cheese, and some onions, and I think that's it. Oh, and a bit of salami, German salami. And that is it. I'm not having any salad with it, just that. And I've still got nearly 300 calories left, but I'm going to leave them just in case the weekend comes and, you know, I'm out of control again. I'm going to dish up my dinner and go and do some more editing. You can come clear now. <laughs> there we go, there is my pizza. It looks burnt, but it's not because those things there are mushrooms. Okay, it's just a little bit black around the edges, but that is the tomato puree, which I've got. It's not proper pizza pizza it's not pizza proper you know, I just can't even say it so there is my pizza you have got to try if you've not done it before roasted vegetables on pizza oh gorgeous gorgeous I is on the way to work. I sure as hell am, and I thought, oh, do you know what? Do you know what? I don't know whether it's because I've eaten um, shepherd's pie. Well, I call it shepherd's pie anyway. You, you know what I mean. And it's kind of burnt my mouth a little bit, so I feel really thirsty. 
and tea and coffee just not doing it for me I've gone off tea completely it's just revolting and I'm liking coffee but it's kind of like I'm trying to do without the sweeteners again but sometimes I can sometimes I can't and I'm just bored so I've decided to get a skinny latte at Costa's and they put in um, a bit of caramel syrup and together that comes 200 just over 200 calories and I bought myself a pack of these little poppers um, 94 calories so I think that'll do the trick I've still got about just over 500 calories left so you know I might have a salad when I get home or something but uh, I'm only here for uh, about three hours and then that's it I don't know. I've got a busy day tomorrow. I'm taking Barney out for the day and I've got a busy day Saturday and a busy day Sunday. My life is just full of busyness. I should be in a bee. Glorious Friday! Who's this? Hello? Are we going out today? You're on camera. Hello. Hello. You're home. Are you looking forward to moving? I didn't like this place when he first moved in, did I? I love it now. Who have I got in the back here? Bunny. Bunny, hello. Hello. Stay there. Stay there. do a bit of cleaning oh yes I am Lucy has moved from the this flat to a house and it's a lovely house as well with a nice big garden for Barney so I have offered to come over and do a bit of cleaning they're gonna be coming over a little bit later so <sighs> Seriously, three lots of cheeses, salami, ham, Florida coleslaw, beetroot coleslaw, avocado, and just a gorgeous mixed salad with a bit of garlic and, and oh, I could just eat it again. Thinking about the kids, what are your three doing today? Uh, one's at an event in Nottingham, 18th, 19th, 17th century event. Okay. Um, uh, the youngster, he's, uh, he 
he's at uni studying with his girlfriend, so hopefully he should be studying. Um, Matt, my eldest, he's, in, uh, he's probably going to work. He's got a 12-hour shift on a Sunday, a bit of overtime. And Gein is at home with the kids, the grandkids. He's at home with the little ones, yeah. Matt's doing overtime because he's getting married next year. Yeah. My eldest son's getting married, so we've got a wedding to look forward to. Yeah, can't wait. Yeah. All good in the hood, I see you say. All good in the hood. What does that actually mean? I have no idea. Mine, Lucy's enjoying her new house. She moved in yesterday. And Ben is getting ready for his new job. He's actually hurt his foot. He's been signed off for two weeks, so he's taken that as... Um, two week notice at Morrison's. Thank goodness he's left that horrible place. Not very good management in that place whatsoever. So he is now becoming a, an apprentice accountant. <laughs> an apprentice accountant. How about that? Fantastic. And Jamie is at home. He's been to a concert and he's looking after Barney while Lucy is moving in. Richard and I are now gonna go a walk because he's doing my bloody head in. I'm trying to edit and all he does is just make noise, noise. And it's because he's forgotten his magazine, his golfing magazine. I can't get and in, he was sat here nice and relaxed. And then these people decided to park right next and to us. And spoil my view. And spoil his view. And so he's having a bit of a hissy fit. So we're going to go and walk to the restaurant. And I said to him, we need to book because we won't get in. And he's going, we'll see. Yeah, let's just walk. 45 minutes. It's now 12 o'clock. We'll get in. All these people are probably heading for the same restaurant. No, we're not. <laughs> and I need a wee. So we're going to get going and get to the restaurant ASAP. God, you make me sound to be a villain. You are a villain. It's got no internet. <laughs> we haven't got no internet. So it is a bit difficult. People are parking near me. There's all this space. They have to park right next to me. <laughs> ah! Eight and a half pounds off this week. Fabulous. Most of that will be water. So I'm not going to celebrate because I have been here before, haven't I? Yes. Perhaps next week, if I get past 15, 7, then I'll be celebrating, really. Especially if I get 15, 6 or 5. <laughs> I shall be celebrating. So there we are. Thank you again for clicking on this particular video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know we haven't been anywhere special this week, but please join me next week because it is going to be a busy one and I'm on my own. <laughs> so don't forget, click the bell. Subscribe if you haven't done already. Comment down below if there's any recipes you'd like to see me make during the week. Anything you like. Ask me any questions and I look forward to seeing you again next week. I love you lots. Stay safe. Bye. I love you. I love you, baby.